Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. Uh, today, let's talk Happy Jack. Uh, the Happy Jack bed lift was uh, one of the first installs I did. And um, there is not a lot of information online, nor do they send you with instructions. Um, this thing came in a crate. Uh, it came crated. Uh, this was not assembled. This uh, L bracket bar that moves up and down. Um, this cross bar that goes across here that connects. Uh, it can connect on either side because there's a port for it. Um, I just chose to put the bar on the back uh, because I already got you know the bar for the um, for the ramp door. So I figured the two of them close together wouldn't, uh, uh, it would just go better. Um, I used eight aught wire, I'm sorry, eight gauge wire, AWG. Um, and I believe I have it hooked up on a uh, 20 amp circuit. I will double check. And I ran my wire um, from my uh, electrical cabinet uh, up into this corner where I plan to put some trim and to the very rear. Um, this uh, junction box came damaged, but it works. So I've got it hooked up and I'm asking uh, uh, Pleasureland RV Supply to uh, replace it before I mount it. Um, it has your two electrical leads. One is wrapped in black and one is wrapped in, uh, not wrapped at all. One wrapped in black, uh, was my negative and the bright white one was my positive. Um, they are not labeled with their gauge, but they're definitely less than eight. I would say there are a 10 or a 12. Um, uh, then there is uh, the connections that go to the motor. The connection that looks like a, a phone line that goes to the controller, which I also mounted way over there. Um, I ran the phone line wire in between my two pieces of plywood and uh, I actually have to take the bed lift down and get some new wall panels up before I do wallpaper um, because I'm going to be doing wallpaper in the back here. Um, so in a nutshell, you've got uh, the two uh, connections that go to the motor lead, which are obviously power and control. And then you've got uh, uh, power in right next to the port for um, uh, your power into the entire unit. And wow, that looks a little damaged, that wire does. Uh, and then right here on the top and the bottom, you've got these two funky leads, which I believe go to uh, these two, which are involved in telling the bed lift when to stop going up or down. Um, that is all of the connections. The back is labeled here. Up, down, switch, DC. Um, your circuit ground. Um, the limit switch, that's what they're calling this. Your upper limit switch, your lower limit switch, and the what have you. So um, that's how that guy wires up. That was pretty simple. Um, they also sent me this mounting plate um, that bolts on uh, before the motor. Then the motor, uh, this gets mounted to that. Um, on this bar, the, I can't remember what they call it, but it is the bar that, 
that actually uh, connects the motor on the motor side to the uh, lifting mechanism to the motor on the right side or opposite side lifting system. Sorry, I got cut off there, but uh, the bar connects the motor side to the opposite side. Um, the very first major problem I ran into here is that bar, uh, which just inserts on one side via a hex head stub. Uh, did not span the entire width of the trailer. I called uh, Lippert and they said, oh, well, we can sell you for $50 a uh, insert piece and you can cut the bar, insert our piece for $50 and then screw them together using self-tapping screws. So I went down to Ace Hardware and I found a piece of steel that fit inside the bar. And then I found a piece of uh, uh, hollow metal that matched the outside um, diameter. And I put the steel inside and I put the matching bar, uh, cut it to length to gain uh, you know, to gain four or five inches in here. Right now I have it wrapped with Gorilla Tape where you can't see my repair that well, but right there you can see one of the self tappers that I used to go through their bar and into my inner piece of steel. Uh, so what you can't see is the other repair on the outside, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I basically made my own bar extension by going to Ace Hardware and finding other pieces of metal, cutting my bar and inserting a uh, piece to make my bar wider. Um, uh, that was the first hurdle that I had. Uh, so in a nutshell, I, I do have to take this down again in order to get a new wall board put up that is going to be more uh, better suited for wallpaper. Um, I may just use some uh, quarter inch plywood like they've used for trim board uh, and go right on top of this and then glue my wallpaper to it while I have this down and I can get this last piece of uh, ceiling in, get my trim pieces on these corners, get my wallpaper on, and this back section will be finished with the exception of taking apart the uh, ramp door and insulating it and uh, putting on new plywood and putting flooring. The rubber flooring is going to go on the ramp door. So um, I may... Uh, do another video to a couple things that I thought were really important. We're getting the bed lift uh, parallel. So um, making sure that uh, the distance between that bar and that bar, the vertical bar there and the vertical, the vertical bar there were both parallel and equal in height to the vertical bar on the left and the vertical bar on the right of the opposite side, along with uh, making sure that the height was equal on the left and the right side. Um, I also, you can't see it very well, but back behind here, I cut out the insulation and I put a one inch by one and a half inch nailer back behind the plywood to where when I put my um, bolts to mount uh, these to the wall that I wasn't going, you know, through quarter inch plywood and insulation. I was going through, uh, well, three eighths, 
going through three eighths and into a piece of pine. Uh, you cannot see it very well from any of these angles. I would have to take this down. But back behind there, uh, in line with the bolts that hold this up, is a solid piece of wood nailer. And um, that was the gist of it. So, um, you know, mounting the L bracket here, uh, the screws already came installed inside the lifting mechanism. Uh, putting on this plate to the motor first, then this plate mounts, uh, I re if I remember correctly. Uh, this, bar here, this bar here has a little round uh, disc that pops out and allows you to move this uh, hex steel in or out in order to adjust for width, but it only is uh, four to five inches long. So you can't gain, you know, 10 inches out of it. You can only gain a certain amount. And then there is a uh, hex head that tightens through the bar, keeping this from moving back and forth. And then this uh, cotter pin of sorts is an emergency cotter pin to prevent uh, this from sliding all the way in or all the way out, um, which will prevent uh, the bar from falling. Um, right now, I believe I've only got a few bolts holding this up, but there are, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each vertical. Uh, corner on each of the four vertical posts there are eight places where you can where you can put a, a bolt I used one inch hex head bolts um, right now I've only got a couple on each side pinning it up there um, and it hasn't had any problems but obviously before I'm finished I will finish uh, putting all of the bolts you know, I've got one there, but there will be another one there. There will be another one there. There will be another one there. Uh, I've got one there. And then there will be two down here at the bottom. So a lot of bolts holding this up. Don't know if that helps, but um, that is what I came up with. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments and um hey i appreciate you watching this video is uh initiated by a comment from a subscriber who says hey i got a happy jack bed lift and it didn't come with instructions and i thought gosh neither did mine so i hope this helps i believe that's how this community works um i run into a problem i ask questions i find somebody who's done it first I ask questions. They're a kind soul. They give me answers. Um, someone asks me questions. Someone needs a video, uh, something they see in my build. And they're like, hey, how did you do this? I believe that that is paying it forward. Um, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Happy Jack Bedlift. Hope your build is as exciting as mine.